Hi friends, it's Velvet. Today I am just doing a little project for a Facebook group that I'm in, um, PTA Paper Traders Association or something like that. Um, Heather runs it and I love it, love it, love it. So this, for this trade, we're doing a double pocket, um, paper bag. So what you do is, I just watched a video that, um, it was from four years ago. So I think I got this. You tape this down good, and then this gets folded up, and you decorate this. So you've got, you would have a big pocket here, and then a smaller pocket in there. So, let me find some thick-ish tape. Can I find some thick-ish tape? Where will she find it? I probably should have done this ahead, right? I pulled out my... Excuse my reach. I pulled out my papers that I want to use, Cartabella, the Gather at Home. I thought that would be pretty on this. Nice and springy, I guess. So, yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. Now, she did mention that you could decorate this whole thing if you want to, but truthfully, it's not going to, my, so I, I pulled this out because I like the two sides. I love the two sides, um, but then I pulled this out because I had it and I thought, well, maybe a smaller, Let's see how they do the six by sixes. It's just a smaller um, element. So let me see if I pull this out. Uh oh, we're sticking. We're sticking. Probably off screen too. I hate when the pad isn't, when the spine isn't broken and it's, the glue is sticking. There we go. So what I could do is this all the way down to there. So it, I mean, it will, it will go down in there. So I'm going to keep it at this length. I'm going to attempt to cover the entire bag. But if it doesn't cover the entire bag, it's not the end of the world. Take a pencil and mark this. My trimmer out that still seems to be trimming wonky is probably me. I mean, really, it just prep. I think um, maybe it would be better if I used it like this so that I have a full thing to rest against. Maybe that's why, because I always go down here and it would be easy to go like this, wouldn't it? So Let's try this. This might work a little bit better. There we go. Oh, we're not even close there. <laughs> we don't want this to be too big, do we? Just to that size. Okay. So there we go. Sure. And I am going to ink the edges because in some of this paper bag is going to show, um, undoubtedly. So. I love the noise of people inking their papers when it's other people. <laughs> when I do it, I'm not crazy about it, <laughs> which is funny. On the other hand, um, when I rustle a bag of potato chips or, um, you know, a plastic bag that holds anything else, dog treats, whatever, the noise doesn't bother me. But when other people do, if it's more than about five seconds, it drives me nuts. It's just some weird little quirk I have, I guess. All right, so that's inked up. Now, um... 
the tutorial suggested that you use tape on this um, because it's a paper bag. Now, I've always used glue on the paper bag, but I'm willing to give tape a try. I am sometimes not very good at tape. <laughs> um, I do things crooked or... You know, when, when, when I'm putting it down. So I don't know. I don't know. I've been toying with the idea of getting an ATG gun. Well, I guess the G is for gun, right? <laughs> an ATG. A tape runner, in other words. Um, because although I love this stuff, I see other people use the ATG and it's always so perfect. And I'm envious. So, I don't know. I might pull the trigger on that. Huh. I got the pun after I said it, so clearly it wasn't meant to be a pun. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to go down this way. Make sure I'm in the frame. Oh, I need some coffee. It's probably going to burn my lips. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. Folgers. Um, half caffeinated, half decaf. Sugar-free cream. I like flavored creamers, but the store didn't have the one that I wanted, so I got like kind of a plain something or other. And I do one pack of equal and yummy. It's a great way to start a Sunday, I think. All right, this is how I've seen other people do it. Get it started and then pull the stuff the rest of the way. Okay, so things first. Oh, I should have. Okay. <laughs> you see, I am not a pro. And non-pros make mistakes. All right, I'm just going to pull this stuff off. I We're going to wing it. If I screw it all up, I screw it all up. Although this is supposed to go to a partner. <laughs> If I screw it up, I keep it, and I make another one for my partner. All right, and what would be the best way to do this? I annoy myself sometimes with the way I do things. Well, I just need to make sure that that lines up. All along the sides. Okay. Oh, I think we got it. Look at that. It actually worked. It's a rarity. I'm telling you. All right. So that's my base. And then this will go up and we decorate this in a different pattern. So what I would like to do is find, see if I haven't used that and used that. Oh my gosh. These, these papers are so gorgeous. I love this one so much, but it appears as though I have used the uh, the match to this, and therefore I do not get the pink. The pink, so I will need to use the back of this, I think, and I'm okay with it. It's okay. So let me <clears throat> let me cut off the branding strip. Uh, see, this definitely covers, <laughs> cut, cuts straighter when I do it along the top. All right, that looks right. Look at that, it worked. And I like doing this because then you can use this strip for something, and I will on this bag because um, you're doing some stripes and things. My dog is running all over Baxi, and he worries me. I just worry about him 
peeing on something because he's up here. I think I've mentioned this before. He is a rescue dog. He's one of 85 Cairn Terriers found at a home. Probably a backyard breeder. All right, so I'm going to cover this full thing. Anyways, my dog. Um, so when I got him, he was already a year old. And sadly, he wasn't trained for anything at all. Nothing. So it is what it is. So we have to have pee-pee pads everywhere. He will go out when I take him out. Um... Sometimes he'll tell me he has to go by bawling his eyes out. <laughs> and then, did I do this right? Yeah, okay. And then we just don't tape the top because that becomes a pocket. Um, but anyway, so, and we even have some pads on the couch because when we're not here, He does what he wants to do, and I am sick and tired of cleaning the upholstery. So we put the human pee pads on the couch. There we go. Let's do this just to make sure that it's a really good fold there. You can see something could fit in there. Cutesy, cutesy, cutesy. All right, I'm going to ink this up and get it down. I probably won't do the decorating on camera just to keep this a little bit shorter. I don't think people like super long videos. I myself am okay with them, but. You know, I don't want to annoy annoy people. So today we are going to see a movie. We are going to see Infinite Storm with I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm I'm sh I think it's a I think it's a true story. Um, about a woman who goes hiking up a mountain by herself. Her husband or boyfriend knows that she's going, so all is well. She sees that a storm is rolling in, so she decides to turn back smartly. But as she's going back, she sees a man sitting there by himself. He's not dressed warmly enough, and he's basically given up on making it back. And he's going to die, but she says, nah, -uh, not on my watch. I love strong female leads. So that's what the story is, and it looks so good to me. I like disaster-type movies. True and untrue. Um, and I love apocalyptic stuff. So, like, action. Action, but not action, action. Not like a Fast and Furious crap. Um. You know, anything with a little bit of thrill to it. I remember when I was really young, Mom and Dad couldn't get a sitter for the drive-in, and they wanted to go see Towering Inferno. So obviously this is the 70s. I was young. Six? Eight, maybe? Whenever that came out. And so they stuck us in the back seat with a blanket in the hopes that 
we would just sleep through it. Nope. To watch the whole thing. I loved that movie. And I think the other movie that was on with that was that one. I don't know why the name escapes me, but it was remade several years ago. Um, about where the the ship, the luxury liner, or yacht, whatever it is, flips upside down in a storm or something. And they all have to climb to get out. Um, love, love, love that movie. Why can't I think of the name of that? Um, anyway, yeah. All right, so here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do some stripes just to break it up. I will use the other, some of the other stuff as well. Let's see. I have got some leftovers from... when I made some cards with this paper. So I'm going to use probably some scraps. To get this um, striped up and decorated. I'm hoping my partner will like this. Because so far I've, I'm enjoying it. What I think I maybe should have done was do the whole punch here. I can still do that. All right, now here's where I am actually going to use some glue. I'm going to use, this is the Art Glitter Glue. I use this in the Barely, the Barely, whatever it's called, glue interchangeably. To me, they do the same exact thing. And I love them both very much. All right, so here's what I'm doing here. Hopefully I'll get it straight, because that's important. All right, does that look straight? It does, it does indeed. Look at that. All right, now I need to put something down here, which could be the bigger portion of this. Do a stripe with a bigger. That could be cute. That could definitely be cute. Yeah, okay. So we wanna just cut this down. So it is a stripe. It's not taking up. Oh, that's right. I was going to do this. Look upside. Okay. So is that too big? I could use this one. Oh, I think I like that one better. The thinner one. All right. So we are going to go right here. And I'm leaving my glue uncapped because I am going to glue this down as well. I don't think I'll use any more of the tape. Yeah, so this is going to be the way to go. Just cutting from the top. I do like this. I have been making those um, trifold travel journals. Uh, I guess I've made three. I sold one. I did not sell any at the show yesterday. Actually, I didn't sell much of anything, quite frankly. I lost money on it. Although I did get an order for 20 cards, so I will make money, but whatever. Um, it was fun. So I've been making the trifold things. It's where it's basically like this, and then it folds one more time, and you decorate the whole thing. And I'm really enjoying making those a lot. The last one I did, I sewed in the signature with my sewing machine. And I could not have done a better job sewing that thing. I don't know why it worked, but it did. That is rare for me. All right, I think I want to go like this. should be even because I lined it up with one of the lines. Oh, isn't that cute? That is just cute. Cute, cute. I like it. Now, in the video, she didn't show doing the back side, but I wonder if 
I wonder if I should with that, just a straight, well, we'll see. We will see. Now, I don't think I need to do any more cutting at the moment, but this is what I've gotten out for the decorations. Oh, let me put this back. This is what I've done, got, gotten out for the decorations. I got some chipboard. This would look lovely. Wouldn't it? Or this. Actually, I like this better for this particular project. I hate when the chipboard sticks. Now, because this is going to someone other than me, I am going to file these little little doodads off. This is just a, a file that I got at AliExpress really cheap or something. You could use a nail file. You could use a regular sanding grip with a low, with a, a very fine sandpaper. Or you could just leave it, right? So that could go like this. I know I want something here. Look at that. I was very upset by this because the it goes like this, see? So when you cut it, <laughs> I suppose they want you to cut it right here and that would be the top. I suppose that's what it should be. But I just don't know. Now, see, this could go here, right? Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. That would look pretty. Um, I've got some scraps and stuff in here. I'm glad I put these together all nicely. What else have we got? Enjoy these moments. That's tiny, though. This is my happy. Um... Although it would look kind of cute if it was tied up. Nah, it's too big. Our happy place. No, it doesn't work. Doesn't work for me. A place like home. Not crazy about the color with that. I think I was right with the first one. Let's make the best memories together. That's cute. But I, re I really like... What did I do with it? <laughs> you can probably spot it right, right, right away, right? Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so that's it so far. Um, and then, let me see what else is here for some chipboard. I don't want it to be too plain for the individual who's getting this. Um, let me see, here's what I've got. I've got these little doodads I could put here, there, and everywhere. I've also got um, the Nouveau Drops, and that sort of thing that I can do. So we've got these, and then, so I think, I think I'm going to ink this up just so it stands out against the background a little bit, but I'm not going to ink up the chipboard, obviously. I don't typically do that, although you can. I'm just not crazy about the shiny, um, the glossy exterior, whatever they call it, you know, the, whatever this is, the surface, the glossy surface, because I just feel like then the ink could, and with my luck, would smudge. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to put this here, but I do wonder if I want to poke anything out of that, like if I had a leaf or something, but I don't want it to be a thick anything, you know what I mean? Like, it's just too thick. I'll leave it. I'm going to use the glue gun because I, it's right here and it's just easier. 
It's almost time for me to play replace the the barely art one. I could tell when I was squeezing it the other day on something that I needed to get a big big old refill for it. All right, so we are gonna go like this. Eyeball it. Hopefully it's hopefully it is at the halfway point. I don't know. It probably is. And then chipboard, I always, always use one of these two glues because I have found it the best, the very, very best for embellishments. That includes sequins, um, chipboard, jewels. Um, brads, if you want to hold them down. two. I have got two. Because I said I wasn't going to record the decoration, but here I am. Here I am. I hope that's not on my hand. It's not the end of the world if it is. Like I said, you know, whatever. These I don't think look too terrible. I just don't. The nubs. It's not Gads. Not much you can do about it. So yeah, I had the craft show yesterday here in town. There were, you know, quite a few people came, but it wasn't um, conducive to card buying. It was almost all um, vendors who sell things like Norwex and Avon and Tupperware and stuff like that. <laughs> so it wasn't really like I saw a lot of that stuff get bought. Um, so I don't know if people were, you know, came expecting to see that and get it. But, you know, I sold. So I was actually at the end of the day, I was down eight dollars from what I paid to be in the show but then another vendor's mom walked over and fell in love with one of the cards that I had made bought that and another one and then asked if I could do 20 of the first one for her church and I said well sure and I'll give you a discount too <laughs> so all right, so now the last thing that I'm going to do is um, get some some pearls, some perfect pearls, and put them across here. I think I'll do, um, maybe I'll pick a green. Um, I'm not going to do that on camera, but what I am going to do is show you what I just got. Look what I just got. I just got the foundry wax, the Tim Holtz foundry wax. And I used this one on... Um, where is it? What did I do with it? It's here somewhere. This. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, there, you got a hint of it there. So, yeah, you just put this on, like, a craft mat or something, and then use a, a brush and mix it up and then brush it on, and then you use your heat tool, and it gets this really cool, cool like design or film to it. So it makes this three look very metallic, which I loved. And by the way, this is just something that I made sitting here because I had this envelope. This is fabric and these are all Tim Holtz things. And this, that's just a little scrap of paper. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I'll probably put it in a junk journal like this and I'll probably decorate this side. So we'll see. But anyway, love these. I want to explore them more. I also got this um, from Ranger, the Patina for all metal turquoise. I don't really know. See, it's got a little ball in it. So we'll see what that does. And then I got two more colors of alcohol ink because I'm enjoying the alcohol ink um, work. So that's it for today. Um, I am going to finish, finish this up. 
and then go upstairs and get ready for our movie. Thank you so much for tuning in, for hitting that like button and subscribing, sharing if you want to, and um, learning a little bit from me, and maybe I can learn a little bit from you. Thank you so much, and have a great week. Bye.